Okay, so this is the Ireland Six Nations Tournament Summary. As I said on the other videos, there are a ton of stats and graphics in this for you. I'm not going to speak you know, to them all, but feel free to pause the video and have a look at those. There's some interesting um, numbers on there, but I've talked about everything. You know, I'd be making six one-hour to two-hour videos, so we're not going to do, do that. In terms of on its record, finished first, obviously, Grand Slam champions, um, won five from five. Their average score was 30 points to 14, so a fairly healthy winning margin overall. Their first half average was 18 points to eight, and the second half was tighter for them, um, 13 points to six. In terms of tries, they were ranked second. Kicking percentage from the tee was second as well, and discipline was six, so they gave away the least number of penalties. In terms of yellows and red cards, they actually got none, but they did give away seven free kicks, which is, um, you know, a little bit worrying because a lot of them were in terms of setup for um, set pieces, either in the lineup or in the scrum as well. So th that's definitely something that they could tighten up on. In terms of possession and territory, um, you can see that through the, the tournament, um, you know, they had a few games where in terms of possession, they kind of fell away in the uh, second half. And in terms of territory as well, um, but then, they did have a couple of games where they went the other way, but generally it looks like in the second half they they kind of you know they do fall away a little bit um, in terms of holding onto the ball and and staying in the opposition's half. Next, then onto the breakdown and set piece. So for rooks, they're ranked uh, number one. For malls, ranked second. For scrum, though, they're ranked fifth, and line out, they're ranked fourth. And then you can see um, on the graphic there that um, you know they were very up and down in terms of the scrum through the tournament, and also the lineout as well was up and down for them. So definitely, um, you know, there are areas for them to work on in terms of attack. Then clean breaks, they're ranked number one. Defenders beaten, they're ranked fourth. Offloads, they were fifth. Turnovers conceded third. And kicking, they were third as well. So, you know, offloads is probably something that they might add to the game as their attacking um, systems develop. In terms of running, then, they were uh, ranked first. They were also first a number of runs. They were second for meters per run and they're second overall for passing as well. And then if you have a look at the um, chart, the pie chart, you see that they kicked away 9% of their ball. Um, they ran 39% of it and passed 52% of it. So in terms of compared to the other teams, they did um, a lot of passing compared to most of them. Then in terms of defense, they were fifth overall for number of tackles fourth for missed tackles and third overall for their tackle percentage you can see there in terms on the graph there then that their worst tackling performance was against france and then um, wales and england were their best defensive performances in terms of positives overall for the tournament um, attack certainly was um, something that really has you know moved on i think from last year the kicking from the tee was good as well uh, discipline was excellent breakdown work like it's so key to ireland to have quick ball and they're able to do that even though they're up against it sometimes during games in terms of work on though, set piece definitely um could be better um defense as well like the scramble defense is great, but the initial defensive line definitely could do with some work. Free kicks as well. Just, you know, it's just something that is 
should be stamped out, I think, earlier because they gave away the same kind of free kicks a few too many times during the tournament. And then obviously a backup 10. We have seen um, Ross Byrne a bit during the tournament, but then like we had um, Crowley as well there as the the next guy in, and he saw hardly any minutes at all. So still need to give them, I think, more minutes in the build-up to the World Cup. 